Hey guys, it's Sepulchre. We're a little bit late, just a little bit, for a game between K Thanks and Brandrine. And uh, Brandrine's top 100. K Thanks is rank number one overall right now. And uh, it looks like Brandrine is playing Shattered Peaks, Savage Tundra. K Thanks is playing Underdeps Iron Fist Stronghold, just like uh, what he was playing in a game I uh, commentated on last week. So he's been uh, sticking with it. I guess it's Underdeps Barbarians. Just like in the uh, last video I uploaded, I think. And uh, Brandrine has two aspects of chaos out. Oh dear God! And a uh, Cyclops Stormcaller. So let's see. On K Thanks side, we have a Barbarian Guardian, which is good because he's got camaraderie, which means all of his Barbarian champions cost seven or less. He's got Favored Nomad and Barbarian Huntress, which would be great against Brandrine's Arrow Eaters. Great. I'm just kidding. Okay, thanks. I love you. But you are playing Underdose Barbarians, so I can't love you that much. I'm sorry. What are they saying in Guild Chat? Oh my god. So, and there's a Plain Savage. Plain Savage is a lot different now than he used to be. He used to be like, you know, 70 Nora or so. Because uh, nobody upgraded Barbarian Rider. Uh, this was before the revamp. And now he's, you know, 91 Nora. He drops a Barbarian Renegade. Uh, so, but he's actually gotten run more now than he did before, which is funny because I think he was a pretty decent champ before. <laughs> being a dick in guild chat. That's what I'm do. That's what I do best. So okay, thanks has all three of his uh, thingies. Wait, what just happened? Did he crystallize his aspect of chaos? Huh. So his aspect of chaos is crystallized, which means that it's uh, impervious. How long is it impervious? For three rounds. And so he's gonna sit there and do passive damage. So uh K thanks doing a little exile mercy here. Which means that uh when Plain Savage would be destroyed, it instead respawns with uh twenty-five percent of its hit points. And you receive Nora equal to the unit's Nora cost. It's a pretty efficient combo. So he's just gonna make Plain Savage take all the eternal storm damage, I guess. Um that's interesting. I've never actually seen anybody do that with an aspect of chaos before. The crystallized animation is huge. Anyway, he's got 12 charges, so Eternal Storm is going to do 12 damage um, all around. And uh, okay, thanks. Moving his uh, champions toward the shrine, kind of weird, but you know. And uh, is that a tribe war? And he vertical pushed the uh, favored nomad. I'm not really sure what the hell Brandrine is doing here. Um, so Plain Savage taking all that damage. And uh, Boar gets killed by uh, Eternal Storm. So, uh, Huntress, yeah, does she, uh, she still has Hunter Shattered Peaks, that's funny. Hits the, uh, Mauler. Oh man, I don't want to get into an argument in the middle of the commentary. So uh, let's see, this is uh, blah blah damage shield, <laughs> aspect of chaos. So now 
You can't range the aspect of chaos, and when he attacks it with melee, he gets a damage shield on him. That's pretty funny. Okay, no, okay, see, okay. So basically, if you can't read what's going on, DSJ just said that I brought it on myself by making these commentaries for people to be annoying and tell me to record all their games when in fact I do not have time to record all of your games. I am sorry. And I said, well, that's a dick comment. And he said, but it's the truth. It's like those people who say, no offense, but you're kind of an asshole. And it's like, well, you just offended me, so it doesn't matter that you said no offense. <laughs> anyway, I'm not pissed about it or anything, I just think it's funny. The logic people have. So K thanks attacking the shrine with his barbarians. Barbarians. Blah 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 blah. You can't just say anything you want and then say, just kidding. It's like when people say, just kidding afterwards. It's like, yeah, you're kind of a fucking douchebag. Just kidding. It's like, well, you still called me a douchebag, you know? It's like, you can't just get away with it. You can just say anything you want and then get away with it And when you say, just kidding. It's like that. Okay, so back to the game. Promise. Okay, thanks is uh, winning pretty handily right now. Uh, Brandrine has made some weird moves. Uh, I think he vertical pushed the favorite nomad thinking that uh, she might fall back onto the chasm and kill herself. But I'm pretty sure that that doesn't happen. Because I'm pretty sure that vertical push brings back the champion on a non-chasm space. Sort of like, you know, relocate. You can't relocate back onto a chasm space or lava or stuff like that. I'm pretty sure that's how it works. And I'm pretty sure if you vertical push something and there's like lava everywhere that it will never come back. Actually, I'm not pretty sure about that. I just made that up. But it seems like that's how it would work, right? So, yes, it is all my fault that everyone is constantly PMing me, asking me to observe their games. All my fault. So we're getting some aid Cyclops here. Ah, oh, that's why he did a tribe war, because he has two storm callers out. And so, uh, if you don't know what Aid Cyclops is, it's whenever he attacks. Um, where are you? It's a defense. <laughs> the, uh, wait. Oh yeah, he changed the name. It used to be Aid Cyclops, now it's a defense. So he's crystallizing the aspect of chaos again. I don't, I have no idea what Brandrine's doing. Now he's transfiguring. This is weird, and I think he's going to lose. For real. He just vertical pushed the, uh, Barbarian Guardian again. I honestly don't know what what he's doing. So Aspect of Chaos doing a lot of damage, but uh, Mercy means that he... Uh, that is Renegade. There you are. Not a big deal for K-Things. What? What? Okay, there's, there's a difference between being straight with someone and just, like, insulting them. <laughs> you know? Uh, and anyway, I'm not pissed about it or anything. It's just funny. Actually, the only thing I would be pissed about is the lack of logic in in the uh, statements. That's really the only thing that gets me is when people make weird statements like that. So hey, we got Savage activated. Oh my God, K thinks just dropped three champions: Archer, Nomad, Plain Savage. Oh, maybe he dropped four because there's a wild a wild chieflin. If you don't know why I said that, go to the off topic and look for the Wild Chufun thread. There's Mercy, brought back Plain Savage, and K thinks got 91 Nora from that. So that's cool. Old Talk the Lost is pissed off. He did a little thunder strike on everybody there. Now he's just gonna walk away, he's a big bully. And uh, so basically K thinks has a uh, he deployed, uh, you know, four bar or five barbarians last turn, so then he's got an extra three right here. Crazy stuff. So now he's got eight barbarians. There's no way that Brand... I think Brandrine was trying to prevent Savage from activating with those 
two vertical pushes, which those were 110 Nora total. I don't really know why he did that. Cyclops Mauler executing and then attacking for 11 damage. Because you see, he is class warrior, and uh, Renegade has warrior foe, which means he takes 50% less damage from champions with class warrior. So it would normally do 22 damage, but alas, it does not. And there's St Stormcaller doing a uh, lightning storm there. Um, on all these dudes. And uh, Aspect of Chaos is going to do 17, so he's going to kill the Renegade. And both of the Maulers. And is he going to hit anything else? No, uh, yeah, yeah, the favorite Nomad. So he's going to kill all those except for Savages there. So he's not actually going to kill anything. By the way, people, if you PM me while I'm recording, your PM will get recorded. Now, don't, okay, don't take that the wrong way. Don't just, like, PM me just to be like, Hey, I'm in a YouTube video. Because that's weird. But just know, just know that what you say will be recorded. Aspect of Chaos. Whatever. I hate you. 17 charges. <laughs> Meta Magic Backlash, that fool. So, uh... Okay, thanks. Trying to kill the Cyclops Mauler. Mauler's not having it. He looks upset. Doop -a doop. Who is in here? Hashin Sheen. Hashin Sheen. Bloom's Tomb. Easy Prey. Me. I am not blue right now. Had a lot of disconnects. Had a lot of problems. Didn't really feel like playing, but I played anyway. And whenever you don't feel like playing and you play anyway, you always play horrible. So he sacrifices um, the Renegade. Probably gonna retribution or sacrifice the nomad. Sacrifice the nomad. All right, and uh, maybe Borgas bomb on Ultok. <laughs> Borgas exile. Borgas fire blast. He's got a ton of Nora. He just sacrificed two, two champions. I could see it happening. Looks like it's not going to because he deployed a world chufun. Oh yeah, go to off topic and look for the W I D L. Chufun thread. It's a hilarious story about Wild Chufun. Barbruns. One, one time I really want to just commentate an entire game in the personality of Wild Chufun. <laughs> I don't know how I'm supposed to pronounce that. Barbruns. Yeah, his, uh, his mate's favorite nomad is nowhere to be seen. Oh wait, maybe it was the Huntress. No, it was a Huntress. Yeah, they're together in the story. Tang McGame writes it. Pretty, pretty cool guy. Uh, one of our own at NWO. So that crystallized aspect of chaos. What a bitch. There's a Cyclops chieftain. So uh, Brandrine doing damage. And I'm glad that aid Cyclops was changed to be a basic attack. Because it used to be just on any damage, and so you could lightning storm a bunch of champs, like four champions, and then all your Cyclops would get like plus four defense. And it would be like, what? Are you serious? That just happened? And then you'd have Cyclops runt running around with like seven defense and tough three. Or I mean that that's that's uh that's being generous. Usually it was like like eleven defense. Uh, and tough three. And then you were like, Oh, I can't I just can't damage you anymore. That's nice. I like not being able to damage anyone. So, uh Oh, do do do. Rebuke. <laughs> yeah, whenever Barbarian Guardian attacks, he scrambles, which makes all of K Thanks champions gain one AP. And the Avatar has Rebuke, so uh, when it does six electricity damage per AP gain for everything in the range. So that's what all that damage has been about. I'm sorry I didn't explain that before. If you're a new player, you were probably confused, like, why is everything taking damage? Except it doesn't matter because everybody's savage and impervious and on their last breath or whatever. So, Aspect of Chaos getting pumped. He is getting, getting upset. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, uh, K thinks cornering that avatar. This is pretty much over, like, there's nothing Brandreen can do to come back. 
Yeah, Savage is just gonna be activated for forever. I remember when Savage was different. I remember the old Savage. I remember when Savage, uh, it used to be instead of this weird, uh, like, dying breath crap. Where is it? There it is. Um, where they become impervious if there's five out. It was like, um, yeah, the, uh, champion costs five nor less, uh, if you had, you know, nothing but barbarians out. Um, or nothing but Savage champs out. Something like that, right? I can't remember what it was. It was minus five Nora to upgrade Savage. And I think it took away, I don't know, I did some, I, ah, oh God, I'm ashamed. I can't remember now. I started talking and then I couldn't finish my ideas. So Brandreen successfully re retreating his avatar. And now he's, his avatar is useless and he's getting minus 20 Nora per turn. So basically he has like, the three faults or whatever. Ooh. Excuse me. Okay, thanks. You should soul reeve and kill the aspect of chaos. The aspect of chaos is getting crazy. 90 HP, 21 charges. Fading recollection on aspect of chaos. So now not only is he stuck right there because he's flying and ah, game's over. I didn't get to finish my thought. See you guys in the next video.